there are scientists who um, have given a lot of evidence that they really do understand what's going on with so-called free energy. And they are credible scientists who have the, the background, the degrees. And, but their theories are not accepted in the mainstream um, science journals yet. I, I believe that will come. But right now, there are various words, various terminology been given to describe the background energy of the universe. Um, what's more, ex the term more accepted in uh, quantum physics, zero-point energy, may turn out to be a rather limiting uh, terminology. It might just refer to effects rather than the background cause. Uh, but anyway, that's one that uh, a lot are using because it's, it's acceptable to uh, their fellow scientists. And uh, the, the range of words that's used to describe this background field of energy goes way back to some people who are tapping into uh, old, old textbooks to come up with descriptions and uh, using the term ether, which uh, really carries a lot of baggage, so that's not the best term. And some people who are looking at the fact that in uh, the health field, people are discovering that there is an unusual energy called life force energy or prana or as the orientals called it chi um, and so they're recognizing that there's more to what's going on to the way the universe works to the way our bodies interact with the background field of energy more than you'll find in uh, standard mainstream science journals <laughs>